Hi everyone and welcome to Wednesday's Take Nate Crafts with the Rapid City Public Library. Today we're going to be celebrating spring and creating some fun, bouncy, handprint chick puppets. So let's get started and take a look at what we have in our Take and Make kits today and make our puppets. In your Take and Make kit, you should have an orange piece of paper, a yellow piece of paper, your instructions, a paper straw, two yellow feathers, two googly eyes, and a sheet of glue dots. Let's get started. You're also going to need a pen or a pencil and some scissors. So our first step is we're going to trace our hands onto the yellow piece of construction paper. And you don't need to go all the way in between your fingers because we're actually not gonna cut all the way in between our fingers. All right, and I'll just connect that at the bottom. There we go. Now I'm gonna get this cut out and I'll be right back to show you my results. All right, so now I have my handprint and as you can see, I didn't cut all the way down um, in between my fingers. I just cut a little bit down so it kind of looks like a head with some hair sticking out of it. Let's move on to the next part and we're gonna take the orange piece of construction paper now and we're gonna cut two strips out of it. You know, that's a little bit uneven, so I'm going to try again. There's one. And there's two. And now you need to cut out two little feet as well. So I'm going to cut out some heart-shaped feet. There's one. And there's two. Next, you want to accordion fold the long orange strips back and forth to make bouncy chick legs. So we're just gonna fold back and forth. Once you have your legs all folded back and forth, see how they're nice and zigzaggy and bouncy now? We're going to take a glue dot and you're gonna put a glue dot on the bottom of one side of your bouncy strip and we're going to attach it to a foot. So now we have a leg with a foot attached to it. Let's do that to the other side really quick as well. So just accordion folding back and forth, the zigzag, just like that. And then once more, taking a glue dot, get the glue dot on there and stick it to the foot. And now we have our two bouncy legs. Let's go ahead and attach these two our body. So we're going to take another glue dot on the other end of our bouncy legs. And you're just going to attach it to the back of your handprint. There we go. And now we have a chick with some bouncy legs. But we're not done yet, so let's keep going. Next you need to cut out a little beak. So just a little orange triangle. Let's put our chick's eyes on so you can peel off the back of these googly eyes. Or you can use a glue dot. But the backs just peel off like that. And 
and put one eyeball there. One eyeball there. And then another glue dot for the beak. There we go. And now let's attach the feathers. We're gonna attach the feathers outward like this. So we want two glue dots, one and two. And we're just going to secure the feather to those glue dots. So just press really nice and hard and those glue dots will stay on there. And once again on the other side, one and two. There we go. And let's stick that feather on there. So now it looks like it's a chick with its arms raised up, with its little wings raised. We are almost done. We have one more part to go. So let's go ahead and take your straw and we're going to flatten one end of it. We're going to take another glue dot and we're going to stick that glue dot to the flattened end. And now we're going to flip our chick over and put that glue dot right in between the chick's legs. So now you have a stick to hold your puppet on. And there you go. That's your handprint chick puppet. All right, everyone, thanks for joining me as we made our handprint chick puppets. They're so much fun to bounce around. Their little legs will move all around and bounce up and down for you. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates and crafts from the Rapid City Public Library. And we'll see you next week on Wednesday's Take and Make Crafts. Bye, friends.